Hello everyone, my name is Anson, and today this is a PC series that I have not brought back in a while because I've had a break. So the last video I made was back in November, I believe. Yeah, back in November or December. So that's quite a long time ago, so let's, well, let's do this again. But the graphics cards have not changed too much. But there's a few few new offers, and I've just changed a bit more. Uh, I'm going to make this every month. I'm going to make this monthly. I'm also going to make a uh, processor's one soon. So yeah, let's start off the... I won't mention the prices, by the way, because they're going to be different around the world. So there's no problem. I'll put in the scan UK so you can see what is in the UK and US. I don't know what it is, but you have to put it in the US website. I'll put New Egg there, too, because that's the one I know about. So on the first of the list, the cheapest one, is the XFX Radiant HD 7770 Dual Dissipation. I've got this graphics card. If you want to see its performance, you watch my videos. It's pretty much as simple as that. Um, show myself promotion there, but you know what? It is a good graphics card. I, I really like this graphics card. It still has not failed me yet. It can run every game. Like usually, I don't actually check system requirements to buy the game because I know it's gonna, I'm going to run it. On. It's just like that. Moving on, we've got the. Uh, it's going to be phased out soon, so we've also got another one here. That's to replace the 7850 and 7790. But it will also replace the 7770 if you can't get that later on. So we've got the Radeon R9 260X. Um, it's a 1GB DDR, GDDR5 gig, um, graphics card. And it's just a really good one. It's a rebranded HD 7790. Uh, Mantle's fully supported, but then Mantle's fully supported on all the 77s, on uh, all the GCN graphics cards. But uh, the drivers might work better on this one. I don't know, well, that's my opinion. There's no, there's no facts that I can go upon. So next one we've got is the R9270, not X. Now the reason I didn't pick the X is that X is about twenty pounds more expensive, so you could get that. But, but the the performance difference is not too much. So it's not really not too much. If you overclock the 270, you can get better performance than the uh, 270X uh, default clock. So this is a XFX. Oh, both the R9 and the R7. Uh, 270 and the uh, 260X are both XFX, by the way. Just saying that. But you can choose your own brand. Uh, so, this is a really good graphics card. This, um, this particular model has free Battlefield 4. So, I love Battlefield 4, you know, like, that's quite a good game. And if you get free, you, don't really, you can't really complain it's buggy. Anyway, moving on, we've got the R9 280X. Now, the 280X is just a beast of a graphics card. It's the HD 77, not 790, so 7970 gigahertz edition. And that's a really good graphics card. It's supposed to go to GTX 680. That used to be the best at this time. So this will run every game fine. You don't have to worry about anything either. This is the best. This is a really good 4K graphics card too because it's got uh, six. Does it say six? Uh, not sure how, what this mod. This mod I think I think it has six though. Six gigabytes. If not though, it's still powerful than 4K. So. That's a good graphics card to start off with. So move on to the NVIDIA side. I'm not an AMD fanboy. I'm just saying that because I'm just saying mostly AMD because they make better value for money graphics cards. Um, I don't see the point of the GTX 650 Ti or until 660. That's quite a good value graphics card. But uh, let's move on to the 760. So 760 is 194 pounds for this particular model. I shouldn't really mention the price, but this is a Asus Mini one. Now you can pick any model, but I just chose the Mini one here because it looks fun. It, it, it's just. Uh, uh, it also uses less power. <laughs> it's kind of cute looking, anyway. Um, but <laughs> ignore that point. You get any to six, 60, 760 you want. But I prefer. I, I think MSI is a good brand. That's, that's my opinion. Uh, moving on, we've got the 770 GTX 770. Now this is a very good graphics card. This is the MSI one, by the way. I picked. Uh, this is just if you are a high-end gamer, but you don't want to spend too much. This is the best graphics card. It's faster than GTX 680. But uh, it's about the same price actually. I think it's cheaper maybe. I've not checked the price of the 680 because I don't really care about it anymore. It's old news now. Um, but pretty much, it's a really good graphics card. My friend has this, and he he personally loves it. And I wouldn't be surprised. It's a very good graphics card. It can do 4K easily, and a lot easily. I'm not sure actually how, how sure how good it is at 4K. But I know it's definitely good at 1080p. 1080p is perfectly fine. Uh, you won't need anything faster than this for 1080p, seriously. But if you want to, let's put the GTX 780 in. 780 is slightly less powerful than the uh, Titan, but it's, it's, not, it's actually quite a lot cheaper, and 
It's hundred pounds more expensive than the seven seventy here for some reason. The same brand. Actually hundred and twenty pounds more expensive. But you can't really complain, can you? Because you're getting really, one, of the, one of the most powerful graphics cards you can get, so I don't see any point of complaining. So this is my graphics card list. Uh, probably it's just my opinion. So if you don't agree with something here, you choose what you want to pick. I just need just my personal suggestions. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later on. Peace.